Welcome to the OncoTarget YouTube channel. This interview is with Dr. Gregory Riggins in the Department of Neurosurgery, School of Medicine, Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. They're talking about their manuscript published in OncoTarget titled Synergistic and Targeted Therapy with a Procospace Activator and Temozolamide Extends Survival in Glioma Rodent Models and is Feasible for the Treatment of Canine Malignant Glioma Patients. Hi, my name is Greg Riggins, and I'm a professor of neurosurgery and oncology at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. I run a laboratory that works on translational research, trying to develop new therapies for brain cancer. And our latest work is in collaboration with Paul Hergenrother and Timothy Fan at University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign where we looked at this new drug uh, that was developed by uh, Paul and his group, a Procaspase 3 activating compound. And the title of our paper is Synergistic and Targeted Therapy with a Procaspase 3 Activator and Temozolamide Extends Survival in Rodent Glioma Models and is Feasible for the treatment of canine malignant glioma patients. So this, uh, this work with the Procaspase 3 activating compound, or PAC-1, started uh, several years ago when we saw a paper from uh, Paul Hergenrother that he had developed a, a uh, new Procaspase 3 activating compound that looked very promising it's a first-in-class drug. It, it cleaves Procaspase 3 to activate Caspase 3, and that's in the executioner phase, and it is less likely to have drug resistance because it's at the end of the apoptosis cascade. Uh, a talented uh, postdoctoral fellow in the laboratory, Avidut Joshi, saw that uh, this drug was uh, got into the brain. In fact, the first publication from Paul suggested that this drug should uh, be reformulated because it, it gets into the brain and they were trying to avoid any side effects from uh, having the drug enter the CNS. We work on glioblastomas, which is a very challenging uh, cancer of the brain. It's one of the most lethal of the brain tumors, and we want drugs to get into the brain. In fact, that's half the challenge for developing new chemotherapies is getting the chemotherapy into the brain in sufficient concentrations. So we requested the drug, we formed the collaboration, and we've worked on this uh, for years looking at uh, uh, rodents. And then uh, Paul's group has also studied this uh, e exclusively uh, and as reported in this uh, uh, paper in, in dogs that uh, have spontaneous brain tumors and their owners bring them in, their, their companion canines. And we've tested the uh, combination of PAC-1 and temozolamide to show that it's feasible uh, in these large animals to treat uh, glioblastomas. Uh, this um, has been exciting work for us. It has led to a uh, phase one clinical trial that is now at the University of Illinois and at uh, Johns Hopkins here in Baltimore where we're looking at both uh, the, uh, the, the, the safety uh, in, in uh, metastatic tumors and then now uh, in glioblastomas. One of the aspects of this work is that we show that it works in combination with temozolomide, which is an alkyl alkylating agent that's a uh, uh, it damages the DNA and it helps trigger apoptosis and it is synergistic with uh, PAC-1 
when used together, they form a, um, a, 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 a uh, improved response, at least in the animals. And we are hoping that we will get along far enough that we can show the synergistic response in glioblastoma patients. Our, so our next steps are to uh, uh, complete this uh, uh, safety trial on PAC-1, and that uh, has uh, reached uh, some of its important objectives all, all, already, uh, where we've uh, shown that we can uh, move up safely in, in dosing. And um, we are now moving on to the phase where we can combine uh, PAC-1 with temozolomide for glioblastoma uh, patients. OncoTarget was launched in 2010 as a traditional peer-reviewed journal with free access that focused primarily on cancer research. Currently, OncoTarget is a multidisciplinary journal which publishes in weekly issues and is covering topics beyond oncology in fields such as neuroscience, immunology, pathology, and more. You can click on the link in the description below to order a reprint or read the manuscript that was discussed in this interview on OncoTarget.com. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thank you.